running on about less than four hours of sleep potentially because the flight was short it was not even seven hours long from new york to frankfurt so i think i slept about four hours so tired <laughs> but if i can play it when i'm tired then i should be even better let's hope but Right now, I am <clears throat> going to go through details. Whoa, my voice is <laughs> less than 48 hours. No, 48 hours till concert. No, 50, 50 hours till concert. There are some things that I don't understand why I do them or did them because I've played this Nocturne in E minor since I was um, teenager. I don't know why I did this. So. Four years later, I now think, no, it shouldn't retreat. It should go forward because we already did retreat. cookie, Luke's case, is empty. Just look, there's no- I don't feel anything, it's just air. This, what does that say about my fortune? Let's see if I'm right. I bet there's nothing in here. Oh my god. Look at that. It's empty. What does that say about my fortune? I've never had an empty packet of any product. Let it be historically documented on my YouTube. I received an empty fortune cookie. I was in the car for almost an hour. We were talking about music and the eagles I've got witchy woman in my head since last night <laughs> uh, very not classical very much not Scarlatti, Beethoven, Schumann, Chopin <laughs> so um, that's in my brain right now um, Steinway lets me play here thanks to the coordination with the festival so thank you it's fun to meet people and play on pianos.
Hamburg. Hamburg Steinways are a lot lighter. Some of you with good eyes can tell that the one at home, the loan from Steinway, at the New York Model B, and it's a lot heavier, which is not a bad thing because I can train my stamina much more easily. On the flip side, it takes me a while to not sound like a Humpty Dumpty <laughs> on Hamburgs, but I can do it. It just takes me a while. Also, day after travel, I always feel a little bit strange from lifting the suitcase up and down just trains really and the one, two times that I did for the airplane because I've learned my lesson. If you remember my June travel of last year, when I arrived without my check-in luggage, I have decided to not check in my luggage <laughs> and just stuff everything if I can without the weight limit of a cabin bag. So that's why I had to trade off with lifting a little bit my suitcase to the overhead bins on the plane, but... The lights are driving me crazy. I didn't have this problem yesterday, but for some reason I'm very sensitive today. Maybe it's because I haven't eaten lunch, but I hear the buzzing of lights. It's a very high frequency. I thought I didn't hear it yesterday. Maybe I was just so tired yesterday that I didn't hear it. just walk to random beautiful nature places like this I think I'm alone. I don't know if I'm alone. I'm barely awake. I'm so tired. <sighs> but the Tokata woke me up. So. Uh, do not do this for yourself. Do not start on a technically demanding piece. I laugh it off and I'm relaxed about it, but do not do this. It's like. Not shock therapy, well, a little bit in the theoretical sense. <laughs> I'm sure it's different from actual shock therapy, but eight hours to a concert, something like that. 
um, apparently this piano was chosen by Sokolov and I get it because it's one of the most mellow Hamburg Steinways I have ever played on it has a certain lyrical quality except for the upper register that's a little bit brittle a little bit but I think it's just in contrast to the voicing that was probably done to the middle ranges because it sounds very mellow All the way up there, it's a kind of strange. Not that strange. It almost sounds a little bit like a New York one, just a little bit. I'm gonna play for an hour ish, just to get used to the piano and wake my brain up a little bit so I remember what's going on when I'm playing. It's pitch dark. I hope. No one is actually watching me talk to you right now because that's kind of awkward. But, um, yeah, I am not speaking very loudly. me two egos a song <laughs> two egos a song to do my makeup I've never seen ginger and lemon. No? No, I've never seen ginger and lemon backstage. Um, I've never seen beer in the dressing room. Just, you know, you've got your normal milk, water, juice, soda, and why not? Why not beer, you know? <laughs> I know that uh, not everyone likes my vlogs when I don't talk I just don't really talk that much as a day-to-day -day 
offline Tiffany. Took a break from performing for about six months. The last time I played on stage was six months ago in Croatia. And during the past six months, I've reworked a lot of things in my life and including furniture in my apartment. <laughs> um, but just, I, yeah, took time off of a lot of things externally. Internally, I was still very much active working on my charity to get out of class school and still playing the piano, practicing, learning new repertoire and uh, posting on Patreon and working on another project that I will tell you probably uh, in a few weeks, but actually, and then also another project. So anyway, internally, there's been a lot of things going on. It's not like I've been on a hiatus from all work, but um, I haven't played on stage in a while and I have a different approach to certain things in life that I hope will translate positively in today's performance. The easiest way to say it's like, oh yeah, I'm human and blah, 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 but yeah, I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> the problem with behind the scenes vlog is that if crap happens, it's on camera or I will say it. I mean, I could just not say it. I won't go into detail. That I'm really the YouTuber. Yeah, well, I'm not old. I'm supposed to be young and good, you know? I do. I know for six months, I know. Feeling dunk. I'm gonna meet you guys now. Oh wow, did wow. Thank you. Oh wow, that's adorable. Thank you. No problem. Wow, this is so sweet. It means the world to me that you come to my concerts in person. Oh my gosh, I got scared. I thought that thing was a person. I'm getting delirious, so I will end the video soon, but um, it just means a lot. I mean, I am not fully satisfied with myself, um, but at the end of the day or the night, it means the most that you enjoy. And I, I had fun. I mean, the second half was really more up my uh, emotional state, emotional self, and just I felt a lot more myself definitely in the second half than the first, but even, yeah, with any imperfections, um, it means a lot that you enjoyed it and I had a good time playing and um, it's good to be back on stage. I think it's always so, touching to see you in person because I never see you when I talk here, you know? This parasocial situation here. <laughs> At the end of the day, I do this so that we experience classical music together. Of course, not everyone can come to my concert depending on where you are, but so many of you travel from such far places from Portugal, Denmark, Belgium, the UK. And it's just crazy that you made the effort to come to my concert and really really means a lot so if you are watching us and there are concerts coming up near you in the future join me join us join everyone that's so great to really experience live music together without this frame barrier camera technology just us and it's a lot more intimate of an experience and much much more enjoyable I mean, no, I wouldn't even compare. It's just, um, it's nice to see you. <laughs> that's, it, that's it. I, I don't want to keep on rambling because I have people waiting to eat. Um, so I'll talk to you later. Thank you for being part of my journey in person or online. <laughs>